this is your second Photoshop tutorial. So now we have learned how to um, add adjustment layers to an image that is underexposed in order to make it brighter. Um, you can apply that same process to images that are overexposed um, so they are too bright to make them darker. Um, now we're going to be looking at how to add some of the other adjustment layers. So if we go File, I've already showed you how to do this. File Open. I want you to choose Adjustments 2 and press Open. Now remember this process that we went through last time. Let me just try and fix this. Um, there. Um, remember this process last time, camera raw, raw because, raw because it's a raw file, so you have to go open image. It's just the extra step that we have to go through. And now we have the image open in Photoshop. Um, so what you have to do when you're editing an image is to determine what you like about an image um, and, and what you might want to accentuate or emphasize and work out a way to do that with your editing or um, work out something that you don't like, something that needs to be fixed and then um, figure a way to do that. So in this particular image, um, I think the strongest part of the image is the colour, the interesting colour. So you might want to make changes to this image that make the colour stand out more. So what we can do is we can go again by add, adding an adjustment layer down here. Um, so we've got a few options that relate to colour. We've got vibrance, uh, hue and saturation, colour balance. Um, let's start with vibrance. So vibrance. Let me see if I can just move this out of the way. There we go. Let's put that there out of the way. So as you can see, the vibrance changes the sort of intensity of the color. So you might like how it looks like that, having a real pastel effect. Or you might want to really bring out those, those colors. Saturation has a similar effect, but it can start to look unnatural when you pull the sliders all the way to the end. So usually when you're doing this sort of process, um, Usually when you're doing this sort of process, you want to be um, very careful, just to add a slight amount. Let me put this over here, it's annoying me. That's worse. attempt. Alright, so yeah, you just want to add a slight amount of each one of these sort of things, whether you want to include the saturation or not, but you only do it a little bit, so that when you... when you turn this layer on and off, like, what I sh like how I showed you in the first uh, tutorial, you can see that it's only making a slight change to the image, just enough that it's just bringing out those colors. So now when I close this, that was the original, that's with the changes. So here you, you can see how it's just sort of making that pink on the wall stand out a bit more, and the blue on the cut. So say we're happy with that image, you'd go through that same process as we let last, went through last time, image, image size, Again, this is 20 inches, we don't want it to be that big. Make sure that we've got the link symbol connected and then click four inches. That's the size that we want it to be. Okay. And then you'd go file, export, export as. Same size. 
JPEG, export all, and this one you'd call adjustments to export. Save. So again, when you go back to that original folder, you're going to have adjustments one original, adjustments one export, then you're going to have adjustments two and adjustments two export. But now when I open that image and I open the original, and put them side by side. You can see the difference in the intensity of the color between the two images. So you're not making major changes to the image, just a slight amount, just to bring out that color and make it the image stand out more. So that's how I would adjust that sort of image.